Well, we've got some wild ginger here in this this western red cedar Douglas fir forest. Often right underneath the western red cedar, which is this tree we've got right here, the peely bark. It's got that reddish tint to it. Really important tree. And really, really the longest lived tree in the interior west is the, is the western red cedar. Got a couple here in this forest that are several hundred years old. But beneath this, we've got this beautiful little herbaceous plant and heart-shaped, heart-shaped, very dark green leaves, a couple of basil leaves, and then this bizarre kind of maroonish red flower. That's their inflorescence right there. So you can dig down, dig down. I've got some really thorny roses here too I'm trying to avoid, but dig down in there and get into some of that that rhizome and it's got a wonderful spicy spicy flavor to it there it is you can clean that off a little bit and chew it up add it to a tea really great stuff wild ginger you can see a lot of it all those dark green heart-shaped leaves that's more wild ginger all in the same spot here